That's the one we're looking for right there. Cold water, man. This rig right here, the, the A-rig shines. And up north, we can only use one hook on it, but you make that bait a little bit bigger, you make it a different color, you set it back a little bit from the rest of the pack, and you're gonna catch some fish like this. Beauty, huh? I have shallow water highlight set up. I use this for hazards on a lot of lakes, but I also use it to identify the tops of the structures. So right there, I probably have it set to about five feet. So the absolute tops of this weed flap are painted in red. And then I have the depth highlight set a little deeper, but the cast I'm making is from here, out here, and I'm just dragging it up that structure. And it seems like I'm getting bit right there in the edge of the weed line. They catch them big and then they catch them small. But the, the bottom line is they just catch them. Nice little buck, huh? But take a look at that back swim, swim bait here. This is a Mega Bass Spark Shad and it's a four inch. And uh, this is a Yum Flash Mob Junior. And I have a bunch of these little VMC heads with just a variety of smaller swim baits, two and a half inch swim baits, little Berkeley Ripple Shads and just a random one here. But for the target, I'm just looking for something different. And I can do that in a couple different ways. Number one, I can have a head design that's a little bit different and this head's heavier than the rest and it's a bright color but mainly the size of the swim bait. This is a bigger profile bait than these ones. So I've upped the size to a four inch and it's a different color. So it stands out visually uh, based on the size and a different color. And the last thing I did here is I set it back on a shank of 20 pound fluorocarbon. This one's probably too long. You can see how far this actually hangs back from the rest of the pack. I think if it was about here, so about a six inch drop, that would be plenty. You would think that this would follow quite a bit, but I'm just lob casting. I got a seven foot 11 rod here. I've had good success. This is clear water. If I was in dirtier water, I definitely want to tighten it up, but I feel confident here that, yeah, okay, this guy's definitely out on his own. That's my A-rig strategy today. Good hit, nice fish. Look at that rod load up. I mean, this is a seven foot 11 uh, Megabass Levante launcher. And it's a nice long stick. It's got, look at that taper on it too. It's a little bit slower. And that's what you want when you're fighting big fish and throwing these, these big baits. Not a, not a giant. Nice stocky little northern bass. I'll take them. A rig coming out of the depths. There's one. Nice fish. I'm going to spot lock there. Nice fish. Stay, staying down, nice. I like it when they're just digging like that and they put a bend in the rod. Nice big bend in the rod, got some weight to them. Nice fish, I don't know what this sucker is. Here he comes, ooh, nice bass. Ooh, that's a nice fall chunk. Huh? There we go. This is what we were looking for. Last spot, largemouth. This spot, smallmouth. <clears throat> Nothing wrong with that guy, huh? The build quality of these fish late fall is, is awesome. You get these females and they're already supporting egg mass. And of course they've been feeding all year, so you know these are some of the biggest fish of the year aside from the, the pre-spawn. And they're gonna be stacked up. We're gonna get a couple more here. Woo. Big thing with these swim baits is you want them to be threaded on nice and true where they, that hook needs to be aligned. You got a couple little indicator uh, dimples built into the plastic here. I know with this particular boxer head, VMC boxer head, that that middle hole, that's where I want that hook to come out for that bait to be riding perfectly horizontal like that and swimming natural. That's the whole deal. Slow, steady retrieve late fall when water temps are 50 degrees and below. Just crawl that A-rig on the bottom. There we go. Second cast on this spot. Smaller fish.
This thing fishes really good in deep water, these A-rigs. Boat's sitting in 24 feet right now and I'm just casting out into 20 feet of water. It hits bottom quickly and you can keep it there. It's just like a big, a big swim bait you might be fishing down on the TVA is cast it, let it sink to bottom. Slow reel it and then periodically just stop your reel. Line will go slack. So you're just reeling that bait up. It's gonna rise a little, let it go down. A lot of those bites actually come when you're letting it go down again. And I'm just working it like that all the way back to the boat in deep water. These smallmouth love tracking these baits. This is clear water here. Oftentimes you can pull them off of a structure and they'll bite right by the boat. Right now I'm in a perfect scenario for using a spot lock function. This is a Minn Kota Ultrex up on the bow. And I have wind coming out of this direction and the spot I want to fish is out there, but I don't want to put the boat on top of these fish. It's clear water, they're spooky, and I, I always lean towards stealth if I can. I'm within pretty good casting distance upwind of the spot now, and I'm just going to hit the anchor button on the foot pedal, and that'll lock me pretty accurately right on the spot, and then I'm going to do my casting off the back of the boat and fan cast. So I'm keeping the boat off the spot, and that allows me just to use the length of the boat to go fish fish the spot, you know, make long downwind casts. Whereas in the past, I'd have to be on my, my four trucks on the bow, just be on the pedal, staying upwind, but I'm effectively losing then the length of my boat. So now I've just gained an extra, you know, 19 feet on my cast. There it is. <clears throat> nice fish. Here he comes. Kind of funny how some of these smallmouth just want to be diggers and then other ones come up to the surface. They're just like a lab, a dog. They all got their own personality. That's what's fun about them. Ah, look at that sucker. That is a beauty, boys. That's a beauty. Big and brown and beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be deer hunting in a couple weeks. We got Minnesota deer hunting in a couple weeks, but I'm gonna be doing this leading right up to deer hunting and I'm gonna be doing it after deer hunting too. Cause it's the best time of the year to fish for fish like this. Catch lots of them and big ones, huh?